Sure. Uh, that was a, uh, a really good Cornell team, and, and we knew they were good. Um, but they certainly uh, played their hearts out, gave us a battle. Um, luckily, our, our defense stepped up in the second half uh, and, and really came through for us, uh, backed by Asa Goldsock, who had a, another tremendous day for us. Um, Anytime we're over 50% in saves, you get a chance to win the game. And I, I know their senior goalie played amazing and had a ton of saves as well. Um, so it was really a battle of defenses and goalies today. And I thought uh, we got lucky. Some of our players stepped up, a couple of them up here, and made some plays to, to give us the lead. And then we got the ball, got a turnover, got back, and built on that lead. And I thought we finished the game pretty well today. And, you know, that last. 10, 12 minutes we, we took and got some separation and were able to uh, kind of kill some time the end of the game and, and get the uh, upstate W there. So we're very happy and we move on to a final uh, regular season game against Louisville. Question, Gary, aside from just players stepping up in the second half, what kind of adjustments did you make to have the offense kind of run a little bit more smoothly? You know, we just kind of evaluated a little bit on, on what they were, how they were playing. They were, they were sometimes in a man-to-man -man zone. They're very tricky because they play some man-to-man -man and then they drop into a zone. So when, just when you start getting comfortable playing man-to-man, -man, they change. So, you know, I think the, the recognition on that part was key, but um, really just getting a couple of those backdoor cuts timed, you know, when, you know, the ball went down low to take a quick look inside. I know Devin got, got one in the second half there, right, to get us going. It was, it was a big one. So, uh, you know, just a little better timing and, and a little better looking for each other in communication in the second half. Gary, Morgan Widener struggled today with turnovers. What are you telling her, you know, when she's getting these draw controls, but then she's losing them with turnovers? You know, what's your reaction with that? And where do you think that's coming from? Yeah, Morgan, uh, you know, it wasn't her best day today, but I think she, you know, I think she she wasn't feeling that well today, and I know she missed a little bit of the second half there, a good 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes she was out. But um, she got back in there and, and got us a couple key draw controls when we made that run at the end. So, you know, when we needed her, she came through, and that, that was that, that's what mattered. I think she got three, three uh, draw controls in that last uh, about 12 minutes that allowed us to get that, that little run going. So it, it was big. You just, you just try and work with her to get her head up and move the ball. And, you know, that's one thing Cornell is very tenacious. They ride really hard. They don't give up. And they follow you all the way. And they're going to they're gonna work hard to try and get that check. And, you know, all day today they were make, trying to make plays and trailing and, and disrupting. Uh, you know, they don't let you rest or relax out there. And they did a good job. It's a nice game. You said she wasn't feeling well in the second half then coming in. Was that little 10 minutes where she didn't play and then you put her in? Was that you making that decision to put her back in or was that her feeling better and saying to you that she could go back in? Yeah, yeah. She just, you know, she just stepped up and said, I'm good to go and off we went. Riley, you had the um, goal at the end of the first half to tie the game. Can you kind of walk me through what you were thinking during that? Um, I don't know. I remember Nina Morello took a really hard, good take because um, the time was running out. So it was really good just to like, try to get a shot off. And I just happened to be in the right position and just saw an open net and shot it. <laughs> Riley, I think it was after your third assist that you started being face guarded. When you're in that kind of scenario where you're being face guarded, what, what's, what are your goals for yourself? Like, what are you trying to do to kind of still help the offense? Like, is it, is it setting picks or just kind of what are you doing? Just to help out the offense as much as I can without being, you know, just um, in the way. So if, if that requires, you know, stepping out, having opening space for everyone else to um, take some dodges or open up some players or um, setting picks, you know, whatever it takes. And Devin, how do you feel like the offense ran in the second half, especially um, just what do you think you guys were doing to kind of be able to find those more open cutters and backdoor passes? Um, I think sometimes we come into the first half and we get a little bit in our own heads and we forget like how to run our offense. Like we do it at practice every day, and so sometimes it takes that um, like halftime speech, like a new play drawn on the board, pull it out, and take the smarts that we have to put it in the back of the net. Because that's kind of what happened in the second half. We just started playing our offense as opposed to playing into their defense like we did in the first half. And what was the halftime speech today? 
Um, not so much as a speech, but a play, you know, just like keep our smarts with us, you know, IQ and move the ball. We got a little bit stuck with like one person holding the ball and not recognizing man and zone and we did a better job of that in the second half, I think. Gary, what's Nicole's status? Um, she's, uh, she's out today. She's working on coming back. I don't know when she'll be back. Hopefully soon. She'll be evaluated again this week, and we'll keep looking at her and see how she comes along. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.